All right, so <clears throat> it's been really wet, miserable, and cold here in Florida, and I hadn't been feeling all that great, so I took the opportunity, and I've been watching YouTube videos from various uh, media creators uh, talking about the GoPro. That's where I started uh, going through all the settings. Uh, people, there were different recommendations. Uh, the one that I settled on here is uh, we're going to go 4K with uh, 30, 30 frames per second, okay? Uh, as far as the other settings, uh, I didn't even know, but down at the bottom, uh, this is the media mod, and uh, you can adjust the media mod to use the front speaker or the back speaker. Now, if you've been watching any, uh, any videos that I've made with the, uh, with the GoPro, I've noticed that the sound quality, when I flip flipped it around because it was on the front speak front speaker uh, when you flip it around my sound quality went down so what I got to do is each time I'm not taking a selfie um, I'm gonna have to uh, reset that setting to the back you know because you know we'll, we'll get because when we're hiking along I just show you the trail the next thing that I learned was um, they said try to keep the camera at eye level okay so I can kind of look at the the camera here, you know, because I was always coming up like this at myself, and they said, no, you want to get it just, just below eye level uh, when you're taking a selfie like this. So we'll see how that looks and whether they think that's an improvement or not. Another thing that I was using was the uh, wide setting, okay? And uh, so you kind of got this fish look to the to the video, you know, which I thought would be good for the trail because I was trying to get as much of the trail as possible. But I've I watched some uh, other hikers or people that make hiking videos, and they said, no, use the, the linear plus leveling setting. There's, a, there's also a linear setting, uh, but I'm going to try the linear plus leveling on my next video. The other thing was um, the, the, uh, the recording of the video. It was using, um, I think it's called HELC. It's a, it's a format for recording videos. And, uh, it, well, it was HELC plus uh, two, two, something 264. I don't know what that is. So uh, I'm going to, I changed it to just HELC. And they said, well, you know, the danger is some software can't render the video. Well, I don't know if you knew, but I'm using uh, DaVinci Resolve to edit the videos. And I'm at the latest version. I think it's like 17.2 point something, you know. Uh, I just downloaded it uh, a couple of days and you know the other thing I've been doing is backing up all the computers. Somehow I've lost a backup device so I had to order another one because uh, I don't want to I don't want to lose all my videos and I certainly don't want to have to download them all from YouTube. That'd probably take me a lifetime. So uh, and then in DaVinci Resolve there's actually uh, some settings because um, I've been rendering the videos at 24 frames per second because that's what I was recording the videos as. Uh, some people argue for that, and I think that uh, you can get better slow motion videos uh, um, with that way. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I've never made a slow motion video. You know, so I'm trying to just just get good quality videos at this point of me hiking. So, uh, but there's uh, there's a couple of settings in DaVinci Resolve that I've changed in the preferences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this video up on YouTube because I want to see how it looks. And uh, I'm going to get, and I've been taking notes. I've been taking a lot of notes. There's all kinds of shortcuts and, you know, like in hit B for blade. You know, I've always been using the mouse to get the blade. And I don't know. I mean, little savings things and uh, anything that I think, uh, as far as settings go, I'm going to put in the description on this video. So if you're watching this video and you think the sound quality is pretty good, uh, let me know. Let me know. Uh, I'm going to look at it and see if, uh, you know, it does... But the 4K, I mean, you know, my, my upload speed sucks, so it's probably going to take a while to upload this video, but uh, but anyway, I just want it in 4K. Let's whip around, and I'm going to switch it to the back speaker. Okay, I've changed the media mod to the rear speaker, and I noticed uh, I was recording with some of the settings not set correctly. Um, I don't know how that happened because I thought I'd set everything up. Uh, one thing that uh, they all stressed was I had my sharpness set on high, I moved it down to medium. Uh, I don't know how that happened. My bit rate was uh, was standard, and uh, they they always say bring the the bit rate up to high. 
Uh, now, as far as color goes, uh, you've got, well, this is a GoPro 9. Now, the 10 has this new uh, neutral mode, and everybody's raving over that. So the 10 is an improvement over the GoPro 9. Uh, but I got a really good deal on this 9, that's why I bought it. I don't know what the 10, I figured the 10 would come out and probably be like $150 more. And, you know, I said, well, for my first GoPro, do I need the Cat Daddy or just, you know, let's start with the, the next model down. Um, so that is a difference between the, the 10 and the 9 that you probably want to know about. What was the other setting I had wrong? So the bit rate, uh, of course, the, um, the shutter speed's on auto. And then, uh, of course, and then the, um, I can't remember what it's called, uh, but it, you just leave it at one. Um, anyway, so I did have to adjust some of the settings. And then, of course, the media mod, I put it on the rear speaker. So hopefully my sound quality is going to sound a heck of a lot better. Like I said, I'm just kind of hiking around the, the neighborhood, making a test video. Any other settings that, uh, that I remember, like I said, I'll all be down in the description on what I use to make this video. So th this will be a good contrast. So we got a difference between my, uh, my selfie and this right here. This, this is just uh, me filming from the rear with different settings. So that'll be pretty cool. I wasn't planning on that. I thought I had everything set just the way I wanted it. So that's, uh, that's it. That's it for this video. I'm not gonna do the mantra or anything, but uh, I, I, I'm gonna go in and I, I gotta, I've got everything written down for the DaVinci uh, software. And like I said, I'll put all that in the description on what I, what I did to re render the video. It should import into DaVinci at 30 frames per second. Like I said, I was using, I was using 24 frames per second. Uh, if you want to compare 24 to 30, there's a lot of YouTube videos where they, they put them up side by side. They're a bit more professional than I am. That's another thing that I'm looking at. I can't remember what it's called. OMG or, or o OEM or <laughs> it's, it's some open source software where you can, uh, you can, you know, put your video down in the corner and then take screenshots on the computer and add, add a bunch of stuff to your video. And uh, that is something that I want to get into. I thought that would be really cool. But, you know, one thing at a time here, I had to learn about the GoPro first. I think I've got it down pretty good. And then I've, I've been, working, the DaVinci software is just, I mean, that, you could you could take a month watching uh, tutorials on that thing. I mean, you know, the, the color, you know, I'd, just little things like this. Uh, if you want to watch some of those videos, because they were saying, you know, a lot of times the color is going to be out of whack, so you got to go over. And I've never even gone into that on any of my videos. And you can adjust the color within certain boundaries. And, you know, these are simple things that you can do for a beginner. And the audio, you know, you want to make sure your audio goes up to this red bar and have it just right so that the audio comes out on the video correctly. Uh, you know, so like I said, it's, a, it's just a huge, huge learning curve. And I'll just keep keep watching them. And of course, to pound it into my brain, is I, I don't watch the video just one time. Because <laughs> I go, what the hell was he talking about on that last video? All right, that's it. Peace out. Stay free. So one last thing with the uh, second clip settings. Because uh, I always promote my upcoming videos. Uh, the weather is going to be really nice here in about three days. So I'll be getting a uh, yearling trail uh, probably multiple video set because uh, there's a lot to see there from what I've been able to tell a cemetery and a sinkhole and uh, well, maybe we'll even get lost and <laughs> spend the night so you never know all right peace out stay free just promoting the next video